Hi, I'm Jocelyn Delk Adams from Grand Baby Cakes. And today I've partnered with Daisy Sour Cream to bring you this incredible recipe that has been in my family for generations. We love this sour cream cake because it is such a show-stopping piece to serve at your New Year's Eve celebration. I know you're gonna love it. To get started, I want to begin with some unsalted butter. It's super important that you always remember to start with room temperature ingredients whenever you're baking a cake. So I wanna just get this going with our mixer. And then I'm gonna start to add in my granulated sugar. What I love about this recipe is that it's been in my family for decades. I remember the first time my grandmother taught it to my mom. She told me this story about how she was about maybe 10 years old when she learned the sour cream recipe. And then she wanted to make sure that I learned it as well. It's time to add our next ingredient. We're gonna add our eggs. It's also super important to make sure that your eggs are at room temperature as well. It just incorporates right into the batter much, much easier. So now I'm gonna actually turn our mixer down and I'm gonna add in our dry ingredients. So I'm slowly adding in my cake flour, just making sure it's getting incorporated. I actually just became a new mom myself. I have a baby and she's three months old, but the first thing I think about is baking with her as she gets older. With Mother's Day and, you know, all of the amazing holidays that celebrate, you know, being a parent, I think about that process of passing down something like this cake, which is in my family, passing that down to her and how special that will be when she's in the kitchen baking with me one day. And then now I'm gonna add in some salt. And I've got a little baking soda to give this cake a little lift. Once you kind of have everything mixed in, we're gonna add in our Daisy Sour Cream. It's so rich and moist whenever you add this to it. I love baking with products like sour cream because it really adds so much moistness to the finished product. There's nothing like the flavor of it either and the richness that it gives. And finally, I'm adding some vanilla. And then just kind of let that mixer bring everything together. All the ingredients have meshed into one and that's exactly how you want your batter to be. Now, we're gonna add it right into our bunt pan. So you just wanna make sure that you've completely greased your bunt pan. What I love so much about this batter is definitely the beauty of it, it's so smooth, it's so even, and what helps with that is the Daisy Sour Cream. So now our cake is ready to be baked. I'm gonna put this in the oven at 325, and it's gonna bake for about an hour and 15 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven. And then we're gonna make a beautiful glaze that's perfect for the holiday. Now I'm gonna let it cool down completely, maybe about an hour. So next we're gonna make our glaze. This is a beautiful blood orange recipe. The color is just sensational. So I'm gonna go get my blood oranges. I'm gonna start by just cutting these and kind of rolling them to get some of that juice ready to squeeze out. And so you get this really beautiful color that looks so perfect for a special occasion. And I love this part because you can get the kids in the kitchen and they can help you squeeze the oranges. And then they feel like they're participating. I mean, this is all about creating new memories for the holidays. So get them involved whenever you can. So I'm gonna squeeze this right in here so I can get that nice amount of juice. Now to create our glaze, I'm just going to add my confectioner sugar right into this large bowl. And then I'm just going to whisk in our beautiful blood orange juice. And you just wanna to continue to whisk this until it gets nice and combined. So then it should kind of pull down in a ribbon around the cake. That's exactly what you're looking for. 
I love to use these types of racks because it's great for if you get icing everywhere, it just kind of drizzles down right onto the cake. And then once it's perfectly clean and it's stopped dripping down, then you can transfer it to your cake platter. So I'm going to go right up under the cake and I'm gonna transfer it right to the center very carefully to make sure that the cake ends up like so. I have some beautiful candied cranberries that are perfectly in season and look so beautiful with this cake. And I just love kind of decoratively putting these right on top of the cake in a beautiful round pattern and have fun with this. Don't take it too seriously. Baking is just supposed to be about creating new memories and having a great time in the kitchen. So look how beautiful our cake turned out. The colors are sensational and really pop and make your holiday feel so festive. I love to actually bake two of these because the first one goes so quick at our New Year's Eve party that I love to kind of send our guests home with an extra piece as a party favor. Make sure you try this recipe. It's been in my family for years. I love it and I know you will love it as well.